A deadly crash kills a mother and two of her children. And tonight, neighbors are questioning the safety of that Eaton County intersection. It is our top story tonight at 6. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. And I'm Siobhan Klepfer. That crash happened in Oneida Township around 8 o'clock yesterday evening. And police say the mother was driving with her three children when she was hit by a semi-truck. It happened near the city of Grand Ledge at the intersection of Mount Hope Highway and Cochran Road. Our Rachel Ramsey went to the scene today and she spoke with people who live nearby. Rachel, what can you tell us? Well, Sherry Siobhan, the Eaton County Sheriff's Office says it's still early in its investigation, but right now it looks like the mother driving the van went through a stop sign and was hit by the semi truck. One of the three children did survive. People who live near the intersection say they have seen too many crashes there and it's time for something to change. I don't know how many deaths it'll take before they finally do something about it. Neighbors who live right off of the Mount Hope Cochran Road intersection spent the morning cleaning up debris and items left behind following the deadly crash that killed a mother and two of her kids. We found this in the grass. Across. Jan McCubbin says the force of the impact sent at least one of the vehicles off of the road and into her fence. I'm told this is not the first time a car has taken down their fence due to a crash. And if you look across the street, neighbors say the same thing happened to their fence just two months ago. And they ran the stop sign and a car hit them and they were OK. I think they were a little hurt, but they rolled and they rolled into my fence. They hit our tree, avoiding my propane tank and they took out our well, so we needed a new well. The Eaton County Sheriff's Office confirms there have been at least four crashes reported in this spot since the start of 2023. People think, just get driving on these country roads and forget what they're doing. That's why some neighbors say there needs to be additional warnings that there is a stop sign ahead. There is one warning sign, but they say that's obviously not enough. Maybe a light flashing that I've seen that on the top of stop signs. Rumble strips. Rumble strips would be good to alert mm -hmm. people that there's a stop sign. Anything that will help because people go so fast on this road both ways. It's just heartbreaking. It really is. I reached out to the Eaton County Road Commission, but the office was closed. As of now, I have not gotten a response back. Names of the victims have not yet been released. There was one child in the van that survived. Both that child and the semi-truck driver were taken to a hospital. Neither one was seriously hurt. Back to you.